Guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. Um, Left-handed course vlog here today. This was highly requested um, in the last video I did with the Titleist AP3 irons. Obviously showed you quite a few of the good shots, but I might have edited a few bad ones out. So here we have a full nine hole course vlog to show you what's good in the game, what's bad, and what obviously needs to be worked on. Um, I was actually really happy with the score I posted through this nine holes, uh, and it goes to show obviously the hard work we're putting in is paying off. If you're new to the channel, um, welcome please subscribe leave this video a like guys if you want to see more of these kind of videos and then comment down below how i can make these better more entertaining um everything like that um as i always love your guys feedback but if you're new to the channel this is my journey to try and break 80 once through 18 holes left-handed now um i play and teach golf right-handed um uh, to a half decent level um uh, and the goal and the ambition is can i teach myself to do exactly the same the other way around left-handed um and we've seen some challenges and we've seen um some bits of my game that adapts very easily like green reading putting chipping to a certain degree um but the full swing the wedge game uh, it's just um another kettle of fish and obviously we're trying to breeze through these challenges as easily as possible using my knowledge as a golf coach and as um, getting better as a golfer as a right-handed player how can i adapt how can i make the left hand game as good um, and what's this quickest way what do i find the easiest way of getting better um, as quickly as possible as i think when you're a golfer and you start out there's loads of different things that we try um, and test and some work some don't so now i'm doing it the other way around it kind of makes it um good for me as a golf coach purely to show a player that's just started the game might have a few of the similar flaws as i have left-handed and how do i make them better as quickly as possible and it's definitely helped my coaching or has helped my golf coaching um uh, and i have used a few of the techniques of what i found really helped me with my left hand stuff and implemented it in lessons so here we are now, as you've seen, a few of the shots, tee shots are a lot better than they used to be. There's no question about that. And um, we're actually starting to find some fairways. You'll see throughout this video, no driver. The driver's just not working. It's not playing. Um, and I might have to do a lot more practice on that or maybe um, change shaft, head. I'm not too sure yet, but driver's not playing ball. Therefore, three wood and five wood are doing lovely. And at my level, I, I'm saying I'm 16 to 18 handicap an hour. Um, uh, three wood, five wood is plenty good enough. All we want is a 200 yard something down the middle, especially this time of year with how dry the um, ground is. And that's exactly what I implemented. Now I'm making a massive, massive um, <laughs> mare of this par five. Obviously great tee shot pushed heavily the six iron and um, just duff wedges and the wedge control is just nowhere near what it needs to be like I'm so confident right-handed playing um, wedge shots into greens and the left-handed stuff it's fat it's thin it's out the back and if you want to get down to 10 or 12 the quickest way to do that is wedge game and the tee shots even though they're not the best um and the distance and the iron striking is not the best it's definitely not hindering my scoring ability whereas wedge play i think through this course vlog just shows and highlights how important the wedge play is because there's times as a right-handed player i'll be looking to birdie a hole and i'm just putting myself in awful positions because my wedge game is just not good enough like for here for example you'll watch me hit a wedge into the green got pitching wedge 100 yards into the flag okay tiny bit too much club i've overhit it but i've now put it out of the back it's not good enough that should be within birdie range and then or at least within like 10 foot to obviously give myself a good chance of holding the putt if not five is worse whereas now i'm staring potentially at a double but i do get up and down and again putting and chipping is definitely my savior i think without any wrist hinge i found the left hand side of the game actually quite easy um, as soon as you start transferring weight onto the opposite, opposite leg, as soon as you try start using like your wrist, to obviously implement a bit of power, that's when it gets a bit um, out of control. And obviously I've seen um, some really big uh, mistakes and errors. Now, if you watch the last vlog, you'll see that I chipped in on this hole and I couldn't believe it when I boxed this 35 foot putt. It probably had about 10 foot of break left to right. It's so easy to three putt this green. I'm probably glad that hit the flag because that easily could have gone straight out the back. Um, uh, but as any good golfer would do, as soon as you make a birdie, um, uh, you massively F it up on the next hole. And that's a lost ball, unfortunately. I took rescue because I was trying to like to tickle one down the middle. This is a very tough hole up the hill. Um, uh, on the woods course whereas i should have just implemented the three wood five wood it was working so well all day i don't know why i decided to hit rescue i should have just smacked them um, three wood but that's my mistake and obviously dropped one and 
as you can see there, very delighted with the wedge into the green. Any two shots into this green on my left-handed journey, I'm gonna be happy because if you can make four and run, then you just want to um, because it's a very tricky hole. Sixes are very easily. Now, I know I lost ball, so I did make double, but four shots with a provisional ball isn't bad whatsoever. Again, five or three were just solid really at the moment. I don't know why they're working so well. Um, uh, Again, I've been working on neutralising my swing path, keeping that club face at the target, um, and they're doing the job. Um, I imagine I'm going to come into some problems as I try and implement the driver and get better and better, but for whatever reason at the moment, three wood, five wood's working well, so we're definitely going to take that. A nice little duff um, shot there with the eight iron to leave myself under this tree, and it's those kind of shots like sometimes you'll watch me hit a ball left-handed and it's as good as my right-handed shot. It's like perfect flight, trajectory, whatever, and then the next one I'll just shank it or I'll top it or I'll duff it, which I imagine is quite similar to a lot of our games, and all I'm saying to you is if you're starting the game, and you are seeing a lot of this in your golf game, i.e. you'll hit a world-class shot and then just hit a bad shot. It's just practice. It's time. It's a journey. I can see a lot of this left-handed game in my right-handed game when I started eight years ago, and it's honestly down to repetition, practice, and as long as you're enjoying the journey and you're getting better, then you're doing everything right. Um, uh, if you've got big hooks and draws and slices, yes, you need to work on technique. But when you're topping and duffing it and occasional shank and whatever, honestly, just put it down to practice and learning and everything else because I've been practicing a lot. I know what I'm supposed to be doing. I can't get rid of them. And I can only put it down to not having enough experience or enough time into the game. For whatever reason, bunker shots are working well. No idea why. Um, I feel confident. I try and splash it just behind the ball. Um, and again, I'm not looking to be able to rip a bunker shot to just in front of the flag and get it stopped. Anything splashed out releasing is more than good enough. Um, uh, putting, again, I need to work on probably not the main focus as the putting was actually quite good in this vlog. Um, uh, overall goal at the moment, really sort out the wedge play and potentially start looking at driver again because there will be longer courses where potentially I'm going to need driver um, uh, to get up in the par fives as well as leave myself wedge shots into greens um uh, but at the moment for like summer golf three wood five woods the key um and wedges is looking good everything in my swing weight transfer um uh, just general club face alignment to target again really strong and uh off the 18th hole here i think i counted this right i think i was seven over um through the nine holes with um a lost ball and a few duffs and a few chips and Getting down to 80 or breaking 80 at least once before Feb is going to be a challenge and everything's going to have to be very tight. Um, but hopefully with a bit of course management, hopefully with um, a bit of um, sensible um, thought process through the round and obviously trying to not let the uh, pressure or the mental side get in the way, we're starting to look somewhat like a golfer and we're starting to definitely get there. There's elements of bad, but then also there is some elements of um, good golf as well there. Anyway, my first nine-hole course vlog left-handed for a very long time. Guys, let me know what you think of this format of video, if I can make it any better. Leave it a, a like, subscribe if you're new. See you guys later.